Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video recapping the Flyers deciding to loan Samu Tomala back to his Liga team over there in Finland. They could have also gave him to the Sodbury Wolves of the OHL instead. And good Sodbury picked him 31st overall in the 2020 CHL import draft. But he will go back to Finland where he played five games with the Karpat Pro team last year, which is usually one of Finnish's higher clubs out there. Spending the rest of the time with the organization's U20 where he potted 15 goals and 31 points in 30 games, which put him on the radar of scouts to get picked as highly as he did in the draft at the 46 overall. The 18-year-old was picked, of course, by our Philadelphia Flyers. Now, Tumala in the preseason and in camp, and also in the two games, he looked a little bit out of place in the two games, I will say, with the Phantoms. He didn't look fully ready for North American hockey yet, but he's only 18 years old. He looked really good in camp. Every report you read was how good he looked in camp. Everybody from Flyers Nitty Gritty that was there to check them out as well. Chris May, everybody, we all agree, like, they were... He looked very good in camp from anything you saw on film. He has a stellar shot. He has good skating ability. Um... And he honestly has one of the top-end shots, probably one of the top five shots of that draft. So he's a guy that you know has the cannon to be able to be at the NHL level and has the skating ability to be able to be, in my opinion at least, at the NHL level. Now it's about rounding out the techniques so he can be better all around in his game rather than just being a shooter and a guy that can do stuff in that degree where almost like a a mini version of Phil Kessel where he doesn't, where like Phil Kessel, he's not the best in the defensive end. The Flyers obviously pride themselves on being an organization that tries to develop their guys in 200 foot players. That's why Morgan Frost is still down in the minors right now. It's not because he sucks. It's because he's coming off of an injury and they're trying to further develop him and make him into more of a 200 foot player, which by the way, in the really despite the coaching, because the coaching's not doing that good, and I hate to say because I loved Lappy as a player and love him as a dude, but he's not doing that good of a job. Despite the coaching, Frost is starting to look better in the 200-foot game. Well, going back to Karpat, playing in however many games he does with the professional Karpat team and not the U-20s, that's very helpful, and it's going to really help him grow because he's playing in a men's league. The Finnish league is one of the top five leagues in the world, so he's playing in a very good league. It's ob- so it's obviously not to the degree of the NHL, but it's a very good, comfortable setting from just like I said in a video I did about Kratzoff when he went back to the K. It's a comfortable setting for him. He's from there. He's used to it, and he's going to get to grow and learn his game and become more of a 200-foot full-force player before he comes back to North America, and then he'll implement those skills he learned over there to become the 200-foot player into playing on the smaller ice over here, and then he will learn and grow from that. He's only 18 years old. He would have been one of the select few that actually stayed over here from that draft and played a full season of North American hockey. So it's really accustomed to do this, and it makes sense to do it because he's going to get to develop. He's going to get to become the best he can be in a setting he's comfortable with, playing for Karpat, a team he already knows very well in the U20, and somewhat from a five-game cup of coffee when it comes to their pros there. So I think this is a brilliant move from the Flyers, a good development move from the Flyers. Ever since we brought in the Hextall developing system and Chuck Fletcher has continued it, We've been doing a good job, in my opinion, a much better job than back in the day when I was growing up in the earlier 2000s at actually nurturing people along and fully developing them into the full player you want to be. Yes, there's select examples of guys that really did flourish, of course, back then. But now you don't see the biggest guys anymore, like the Jeruz we drafted, per se, and the Gatorades we drafted, but we're, we're really developing a lot of these good guys into full 200-foot players, which plays in the system you want to play, and we're being patient with them, which I think is a good thing, because after all, patience is a virtue, and look where it got us with Scott Lawton, who's now one of the best players and more productive players in 200-foot style on the entire club, and we were patient with him. That's why we're being patient with Morgan Frost. Don't give up on him yet either, but this is a very smart move for Samu Tamawa to go back to Finland and be able to work on his craft and make his overall game better. We know he has the shot. We know he has the skating. 
Now let's let him develop everything else. So this has been a reaction to Samu Tamala getting loaned back to Karpat and Finland. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the easy-to-use widget up above. And hopefully we can watch Samu Tamala continue to grow and have success in Finland. My prediction is, just like last year, he'll do good and have success over there to continue to develop his game. Peace out, everybody.